Welcome to the Melbourne and Olympic Parks precinct. Set on the banks of the Yarra River, this iconic sports and entertainment destination is home to six world-class venues. Rod Laver Arena, Margaret Court Arena, Amy Park, John Kane Arena, Kia Arena, and Centrepiece at Melbourne Park. Over the past decade, the precinct has undergone a significant transformation thanks to a near billion dollars invested by the Victorian government through the Melbourne Park redevelopment. One of Victoria's most recognised and significant infrastructure projects. This landmark project has been delivered by Sport and Recreation Victoria, Development Victoria, Tennis Australia and Melbourne and Olympic Parks and leaves little room for doubt, this precinct is the home of live events. Significant collaboration has brought this project to life and its success comes down to the hard work and dedication of thousands of people. I'd like to introduce a few of those people to tell you more about the project. The Melbourne Park redevelopment was born out of a desire to build this precinct into a world-class destination for sports fans, live music lovers, artists and entertainers, and to cater for the growing popularity and needs of the Australian Open. Every year, this bustling precinct plays host to more than 300 events, including the world's most exciting Grand Slam tennis tournament and one of the Southern Hemisphere's largest events, the Australian Open. This project has delivered a range of new venues and facilities that guarantee Melbourne as the home of the Australian Open until at least 2046. The redevelopment was undertaken in three stages, all of them focused on achieving sustainable outcomes, ensuring accessibility and improving the visitor experience. Those principles make Melbourne Park and the surrounding precinct one of a kind. To tell us a bit more about the early works in the redevelopment, here's Tom. Stage one commenced in 2010 and was completed in time for the 2015 Australian Open. It included improvements to the rainwater harvesting system, the extension of the Western Plaza and Rod Laver Arena concourses and landscaping works. The rainwater harvesting system is key to the project's sustainability strategy, recycling 85% of the precinct's water. In stage one, we also delivered a new national tennis centre, public plaza, multi-level car park and a pedestrian bridge connecting Melbourne Park to the MCG. The National Tennis Centre boasts 21 purpose-built indoor and outdoor tennis courts, delivering state-of-the-art facilities for our up-and-coming tennis talent. Margaret Court Arena had a makeover during Stage 1. We installed a retractable roof, added 1,500 seats and built a fully enclosed concourse with new food and beverage outlets to enhance the guest experience. As a result of the redevelopment, Margaret Court Arena is now one of the best acoustic experiences for live music in Australia and a world-class venue for sports entertainment and other live events. Let's head over to Kate, who's going to take us through what happened during stage two. Stage two commenced in 2014, was completed in 2019 and delivered a significant transformation of Rod Laver Arena as well as a new home for Tennis Australia and Melbourne Olympic Parks and Tennis HQ. Rod Laver Arena is our centre court for the Australian Open and where our biggest music acts put on incredible arena spectaculars. Thanks to the redevelopment, we've enhanced the experience for players, performers and guests. Our new main entrance expands our food and beverage offerings and new retractable and cushioned seating improves comfort for guests. Back of house, player and bomber space has received significant upgrades while a new and expanded loading dock and increased rigging capacity to over 100 tonnes means we can host bigger and better shows. We've also delivered on our commitment to accessibility with improvements including ramps and handrails in the seating bowl, changing places facilities and hearing loops in all public areas ensuring that everyone can enjoy events at Rod Laver Arena. A new pedestrian bridge known as the Tendaran Bridge provides a new primary entrance to Melbourne Park and adds a connection between the precinct and the city. To tell you more about Stage 3 and the precinct's newest venues, here's Kath. Stage 
Stage 3 of the redevelopment commenced in 2019 and was complete in 2021 and saw the delivery of a 5,000 seat show court arena as well as two new outdoor match courts. All are fantastic assets for the Australian Open, while the new show court's multi-purpose functionality means it can be used for stage events throughout the year. Connecting all these venues is an open air outdoor space that allows for activations, events and meeting points, while underground a brand new central logistics hub and roadway improves back of house accessibility and ensures a seamless guest experience up here on the concourse. Our new conference and events venue, Centrepiece at Melbourne Park, was also delivered during Stage 3, adding incredible versatility to our suite of venues at Melbourne Park. Centrepiece houses an impressive 1,000-seat Grand Hall, a 250-seat auditorium and broadcast studios, and with the ability to host gala dinners, conferences, weddings and more intimate gatherings, the venue has cemented its place in the city's most versatile and surprising new conference and events venue. Adding to the precinct's commitment to sustainability, all venues completed during the redevelopment achieved LEED Gold certification, the most used green building rating in the world. The project has been a significant collaborative effort with a strong focus on the Victorian people. I'll hand over to Ben to tell us more. Over the past decade, the Melbourne Park redevelopment has contributed significantly to the state's job and visitor economies. By the time of completion, the project had created 2,300 full-time jobs, while at least 90% of all materials were sourced locally. The 270 tonnes of steel used for Showcourt Arena were fabricated here in Victoria, while Centrepiece is showcasing homegrown producers through its food and beverage offering. We've also delivered on our commitment to sustainability reducing the precinct's carbon footprint by 25%. Solar panels on several venues drive sustainable energy production, while more green space and shade in the precinct ensures comfortable experience for our guests. We're very proud of what we have achieved and are grateful to our partners throughout the project who have helped bring this incredible undertaking to life. The Victorian Government's foresight and investment in this precinct will deliver benefits to the people of Victoria for generations. We've secured the Australian Open until at least 2046 and look forward to seeing the precinct continue to enrich Victoria's reputation as a world-class events destination. We are proud of what the Melbourne Park redevelopment has achieved and we're excited to bring the world's best live sport and entertainment to the people of Victoria now and well into the future.